School administrators can censor student publication. That's basically what some people think of the 1988 Supreme Court decision known as Hazelwood. No! Yeah. <sighs> so the good news from the 1969 Tinker case was that students don't give up their First Amendment rights to free expression at school. Hazelwood is the counter to that decision, and since it came after Tinker, many places focus on it. But it's not a simple matter of Hazelwood is here now, so Tinker's wiped away. If you want a nifty history of the Hazelwood case, see the link below for Mr. Beat's video. I'm just going to focus on the key parts for student journalism to know. First, the Hazelwood decision was made by the Supreme Court, so it's a federal thing. More and more states are adding their own protections for student journalists. These laws are often referred to as new voices laws, and they can grant students more latitude than the Hazelwood standard. The next big thing to keep in mind about Hazelwood is that it said that the principal of the school had a right to censor the student newspaper as long as it was reasonably related to legitimate pedagogical concerns. In other words, if the school can reasonably say that something would interfere with legitimate education concerns, school officials could censor it. Now that's not exactly a clear-cut standard, right? There's a whole lot of gray area there and it's going to be interpreted differently in different places and at different times but there it is. The third point about Hazelwood is a little more complicated. It was claimed that the paper was not a public forum for student expression. The Supreme Court said that if the paper had been a, declared a public forum for student expression in policy or by practice, that would be different. So one takeaway from this is that stating in a policy manual or on your masthead that your publication is a limited public forum for student expression can help provide some protection. A court could also look at the practice of a publication. Does it have a history of students controlling the content that's published? Having a record of this shows that the paper is indeed a limited public forum for student expression. One quick note. Even in so-called Hazelwood states, if administrators censor students, they must state a reason for each act of censorship, and that reason can be used in appeals. Each individual act of censorship is appealable. And finally, if you're in a Hazelwood state, try to build bridges with your admin. See our video about that here. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.